Pemba is an island that is not well known at all compared to Zanzibar, but it has an amazing history. It is as raw as you're going to get for any Westerner getting there. Therefore, you know, logistically, it is a lot harder, but as an experience for your clients, it's out of this world. What I see for a client coming off is to be involved in the whole hustle and bustle, feel very safe, um, and, and just get, just soak up the experience and the, the, the traditional way of life. Well, this is what we asked for. We wanted to see something uh, interesting and people, different people, and what, how they live their lives and uh, the food they enjoy. And yeah, it's just really great. We see that people are happy here and we're liking that. The Clipper Odyssey was the first cruise ship to have landed on Pemba Main Island and it's the first time that volume of tourists have arrived onto Pemba Island to do excursions. In terms of handling a vast number of people on the island, it is difficult. You know, when a cruise ship comes in, you do need to get special passes in order to make it flow with, seamlessly for the clients. How do we make it happen? We know people, you know, we've, we've done it for many years. We know great farms and therefore people will get an authentic experience of the island in the shortest possible time. We brought all these clients to a place called Psychology. Uh, which is a unique place that has the flying fox um, and it provides a great opportunity for clients to come and see a little bit more of what Pemba has to offer um, and it allows them an opportunity, particularly off a cruise, to wander around and stretch their legs a bit. This bird is staying here and they fly at night time to find uh, some dinners and things else and early in the morning they come back here to the tree. On Zanzibar and as well as uh, Pemba, obviously a lot of it is about the beaches. Where I think Pemba excels is that we do have Masali Island and the snorkeling, the dhow cruises that we can organise, the um, diving that is available can all be done in half a day and it gives a true taste of what is on offer and we do hope that these clients will come back for longer. So we're now at a local school. We're going to do a traditional mock bull fight. Uh, and we're just bringing the clients in so they can get an opportunity to meet some of the local school kids um, and then experience a little bit more about Pemba. So people are still excited to see us and happy and friendly. So what we've got happening now is we're hopefully going to have a small bullock, medium-sized bullock, come tearing out from behind that tree attached to a rope. Uh, and then the best bullfighter on Pemba is going to coax him in to show him to, to all of us how wonderful and how fierce and how magnificent that this bullock is. As you can see, there's sort of all the villagers here, all the school kids are here, everybody's here. Something they do, they reserve it for very, very special occasions. So they're thrilled to be able to show it to the to the guests. Um, so I think that's why you'll see them go quite quite mad, They're quite excited. And I think if over here you'll see, here comes the bull.
do another one. <laughs> I want them to come off that, off the island or get, get back on their boat and everyone just to say, one, what an amazing time they've had, two, what a, an incredible experience they've had in terms of feeling as though they were part of the island for that day and having seen pretty much everything that it has to offer in a short period of time.